Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Today we are doing an English speaking lesson and you're going to learn five common expressions with the word give. So expression one, to give up. And this means to quit. So to quit something or to stop something. Example. I am trying to give up smoking. I am trying to give up smoking. So this means I'm trying to stop smoking or to quit smoking. Mark says, would you like a cigarette? Jane says, no thanks. I have given up. I have given up. Another example. Sarah gave up chocolate two years ago. Okay, so here is some grammar. A reminder for you that the verb give is irregular and the past simple form is gave. So we see an example here. We are talking about a specific moment in the past. So we used a past simple, gave up. And the past participle of give is given. And we see it in this example here. I have given up. So this is the present perfect. Expression two, to give something away. This means to give something for free. So we give something to someone and we do not ask for any money. It is free. The supermarket is giving away t-shirts. The supermarket is giving away t-shirts. So this means that they are giving t-shirts to customers for free. No money. Mark says, do you want my old mobile phone? Jane asks, well, how much are you selling it for? And Mark replies, nothing. I'm giving it away. I'm giving it away. So Mark is saying that his mobile phone, he's giving it for free. He is giving it away. Expression three, to give someone a hand. So don't worry, this is not a literal expression. You are not physically giving someone your hand. No, this means to help someone. And there are two different structures that we use with this. The first one is to give someone a hand with something and it is with a noun phrase. Example, I gave Mark a hand with his bags. I gave Mark a hand with his bags. Jane asks, please give me a hand with my homework. Please give me a hand with my homework. So with followed by a noun phrase. And we can also use the structure to give someone a hand to do something. So this time we are using a verb in the infinitive form. I gave Mark a hand to carry his bags to carry his bags. So this time we have used a verb in the infinitive form, to carry. Jane says, please give me a hand to do my homework, to do my homework. So again, we have used a verb in the infinitive form, 
to do. So to give someone a hand, to help someone. Expression four. To give someone a lift. To give someone a lift. And this means to transport someone to their destination in your car. Okay, so it means to take someone to their destination in your car. Jane says, we're going to the cinema. Can you give us a lift? Can you give us a lift? So Jane is asking someone to take them to the cinema in their car. Okay. Another example. I give the children a lift to school when it's raining. I give the children a lift to school when it's raining. Okay, so this means I take the children to school in my car when it's raining. Notice this one is in the present simple because we are describing a regular activity when it's raining. Very important, this expression is mainly used in British English. Okay, so what is the American English version? Well, there is another expression to give someone a ride, to give someone a ride. The meaning is exactly the same. And this expression um, is more common in American English, but also it is used in British English. So to give someone a lift is not really used in American English. That's the difference. So let's look at an example. Mark says, can you give me a ride to the office? Can you give me a ride to the office? Mark says, I gave Mrs. Smith a ride to the supermarket yesterday. Okay, notice that we have a time expression yesterday. So yesterday is a specific time in the past. So that is why we are using the past simple tense. I gave. Irregular verb. Expression five. To give someone your word. To give someone your word. And this means to make a promise to someone. Mark has given me his word that he will tidy his bedroom. So this means that Mark has promised me that he will tidy his bedroom. And this is the present perfect. So in the present perfect, we use the past participle, has given. Jane asks, do you promise to visit me in London? And Mark replies, yes, I give you my word. I give you my word. Yes, I promise. And Sarah says, I don't believe that you will help me. Give me your word. So Sarah is saying, I don't believe that you will help me. Um, promise me. Promise me. Okay, so this is a very useful expression to give someone your word. Okay, so that's the end of the lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. And here are some other videos which I think you'll be interested in.